Let's take a look at rounding decimals to the nearest whole number. When I'm rounding to the nearest whole number, you'll notice here, I went 3 and 1 tenth. I found the ones place of that 3, and I looked at its neighbor. Since the neighbor was 1, and that was in between 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4, I kept that circle digit the same. I flexed my muscles like a hero, digits to the right of that circle digit went to 0. However, when I'm writing a whole number, I don't write 3.0. I don't write 3 and 0 tenths. What I do to write that whole number is I just write 3. So 3 and 1 tenth rounded to the nearest whole number is 3. 7 and 62 hundredths to the nearest whole number, again I circle that ones place because the 6 here and that 6 tenths is 5 or bigger. The 7 has to go up. The 7 becomes an 8. Would I write 8.00 for that whole number? No, all other digits stay the same. I'm going to give you one last problem to take a look at here on this page and we're going to look at 12.36. For 12.36, nearest whole number, this is 12 and 36 hundredths. I'm going to circle the 2 because that's in the 1's place. I underline the 3. 0 to 4, circle stays the same. So the 2 stays the same. Flexing our muscles like a hero, digits to the right change to zero. They're after the decimal place here, so I do not write them. All other digits stay the same. So 12 and 36 hundredths is close to 12 as that whole number. This is our reasoning with a number line. If we're thinking with a number line and we're going with our nearest whole number, we're either going to keep that digit the same. So over here, we would have 17. On this side, we would have, if we went one up in that ones place, we would have 18. Right in the middle, if we're thinking of a tenths place number, we would have 17 and 5 tenths. 17 and 6 tenths, if we were to place this on the number line, would appear right about here. 17 and 6 tenths is closer to 18 than it is to 17. In fact, all of our tenths place numbers that would go to 18 would be 17.5, 17.6, 17.7, 17.8, and 17.9, whereas 17.3 would be closer to 17 than to 18. So again, 17 and 6 tenths is closer to 18 and rounds to 18. That's the nearest whole number. And I wrote that out for those that need to see it. Please don't make the common mistake. One of the common mistakes that I see a lot is people do not choose the ones place when they are rounding. So that is one common mistake. They would choose a place like the tens place for this particular number. And then so that's why we did circle the three and we underlined the six. The other common mistake that I end up seeing is people will write this as their answer. They'll either write 24.0 or they will write 24.00. These are not whole numbers because they have a decimal place. The proper number to write there is 24. So again, please don't make those common mistakes. Here are three problems for you to try. Please go ahead and Write them down, and you're rounding to the nearest whole number. Did you get two for the first one? The nearest whole number for 18 and 69 hundredths would be 19. I gave you a thousandths place number for this last one, and hopefully you didn't get confused by that. The nearest whole number then is still what? Hopefully you came up with 37. Here's our review. It doesn't matter as to how many decimal places appear after the decimal point. To round to the nearest whole number, you still find the ones place. What digit is in the ones place? 
Right, 8. What do we do with the 8? We circle it. Right. And we'll underline the 6. Why is it that we underline the 6 again? That's the number we're looking at to see whether or not the 8 stays the same, or that the 8 increases. In this case, the 8 does what? Right, it increases. Flexing our muscles like a hero, digits to the right change to zero. All other digits stay the same. And then we're the winner of the rounding game if we write what as that whole number that this rounds to. 39. Say this whole thing. 38 and 625 thousandths rounds to 39. You say it again, please. 39. And that's how it is that we round. Remember, don't write point zero, don't write point zero zero. And remember to follow your rules for rounding. It's zero, one, two, three, four for that underlined digit where the circle stays the same. And if it's five to nine, you add one to that circle digit.